Alright guys, well, you know how I am. I can never start a new series and finish it, so welcome to Total Modded Island. So, yeah, we are using the Japan map. I'm actually gonna hopefully fast forward this enough to get rid of the rain. But yeah, so I basically was just playing around with like the career maps and I started on a little other project using this map and I figured, you know what, I might as well just start like a new modded challenge mode. So yeah, we're back in challenge mode. We have a bunch of money, which, you know, it's pretty good at the start over here. And we have our first species in here and you know, we, we have a decent start to this little zoo. I have no idea why it's still raining. I wish we had like some power to actually turn that off, but it seems like it's lightening up right now. All right, and there she goes. So we are actually gonna hop in here and see like everything that we have. We've actually been playing for so long that our nil guy are actually gonna have offspring or they're gonna escape. So we're just gonna get rid of that. Um, I have some plans for the back of this so that they don't actually escape all the time. So do keep an eye out for that in the next episode. I just wanted to get this out to you guys because I was working on this all day yesterday. And, you know, I'm having a lot of fun with it again. So yeah, all the protests are still happening. That's great. Very on brand for any leaf branded uh, park. And yeah, we have a little bit of a food stand over here. So we do have Eben's like uh, boxless shop mod installed. So we have a little bit smaller of a blueprint and I think it turns out really well. I even have these like little, I don't know, I guess they're like the tickets that they use for, um, for food shops and stuff like that for food stalls. And yeah, I also have this little area for the peafowl over here. Since this park already came with peafowl, I figured we might as well like use them as like our free animals. So they have this little area over here, and they are still extremely loud. So yeah, they have like all that nice little area over there. They seem to be pretty happy. They have like too much area over there actually. I do have Planet Zoo Plus installed, so that's probably the reason why we see a lot of this stuff happening. And yeah, we're just chugging away at the research, chugging away at everything. We're trying to unlock all the themes first so we can start to build with a ton of stuff. Uh, let's go for Australian. I'm really feeling Australian today. And yeah, our new guy are fully researched, so we're just going to start some research on some Indian Peafowl. You see, I finally learned how to play the game, you guys. We're gonna wait for this guy to bear his offspring. So this nar uh, this um null guy is actually made by Narwhaler. Narwhaler is easily like one of the most impressive modders out there currently. Just doing some amazing stuff. I saw that this kind of slipped under the radar of a lot of people's like vision. And I just wanna like, you know, give it a little bit of a uh, boost up there. Give it a little bit of a, I don't know. Give it a little bit of a spotlight, especially like in the front of our zoo. So we'll talk about like the half time just a little bit. I did record a speed build of this, but I'm probably not going to post it behind this just because I want a little bit of a quicker video for you guys. I just want you guys to see what's happening. Look at the baby. I love like the markings on its face over there, and especially like on the legs and stuff. This is really such a beautiful creature. Did you hear it? Did you hear its little mark? That's so cute. But yeah, that is such a beautiful, beautiful animal. Amazing job on that Narwhaler. This is, like, I really do love using this challenge mode as, like, a mod showcase. The male is absolutely beautiful, though. Like, I feel like this is the reason why you want Nail Guy. They are such stunning creatures. But yeah, amazing job on that. So, we're gonna have a lot of animals coming in here. We already have, like, a bunch of stuff in trading already, just because, you know, I saw some cool stuff and I decided to buy it. So we have some goats and we have some coyotes. I'm not sure if they'll actually make the cut, but I will have them in there eventually. But yeah, we can see like a ton of like, you know, we even have the black bucks, which, you know, shh, shh, don't, don't, don't let Jen know. I may use them in this series. She still has to release them. But yeah, we still have a ton of animals and we can have a lot of fun with this. So yeah, we have, actually, I'm just going to get the suffix sheep right now, just because. But yeah, we have a ton of stuff happening in here, and I absolutely love seeing all this happen. So let me know what you guys think so far. Um, I know it's a little, actually, you know, we'll talk about the habitat a little bit. We're not done yet. So yeah, I want to have a little bit of like an elevated area, and that guy seems pretty elevated right there. Alright, power to him, I guess. 
But yeah, I want to have a little bit of an area where, I don't know, it's like that, it's kind of a non-traditional exhibit in this regard where like, you know, I have like all their stuff up at front over here and, you know, they can come up here and if they really need privacy, they have like all this area back here. I usually see the big male, the big buck, I guess, hanging out over there. But no, it seems like the baby is a star of the show. And they just love being in like this little area over here. So I really do love it. These guys are oriented for education. So they are like hosting Nil Guy education over there. But I just, I didn't really have anything to display for them. So I just put in gradient so it's nice and pretty. I, I figured why not. But yeah, these guys are loving their little habitat. And I want to have it kind of like hide the rest of the keeper space over here. I just wanted an area for, um, I don't know, just like a big keeper campus. And it seems like they seem to love to use it over here. So that's awesome. It's a little bit of a hike from the main road. But once we actually get some more exhibits to populate like this whole area over here, I feel like they'll have a lot more purpose. And we can even decorate this side of the, uh, this side of the canyon, I guess it is. To make it look nice and pretty and the idea over here so if we got the north african and if we get these pieces over here i want to do something like this where we kind of just have like these nice big fake rock i don't know just kind of big fake rock backgrounds or something like that and that's the whole idea of that habitat once to what once we actually like get going with it but yeah, look at the foliage in here too. It's all like Asian foliage and stuff. I think it looks absolutely swanky. Except for this little area over here. I still need to like dress that up a little bit. So we'll do a little bit of that right now. You see, I still do some live building for you guys. I know a lot of people are requesting that. It's just I don't really have the time much anymore for, you know, all those live builds. But I'm sure we can get one of those going soon enough. I may see if I have the time for today. But yeah, like that is being said, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Welcome to Total Modded Island. Um, it's not entirely total because we have these guys over here, but I don't know. We'll still have a lot of fun with it. So we do have some babies, so it's actually really awesome. So, awesome. But yeah, my name is Leaf, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this like new little series. Um, it's a little different. It's going to be a lot... I don't know. I always felt like the other maps were a little too big, but since we don't have that much room in this one, I mean, like, we only have... Let's get, like, a nice big blueprint. Yeah, let's use Seth's Among Us. So, we can't really build out to there. We can only build up to here. We can build out to here. We can build out to here. Wow, that's actually... A very cool exhibit idea right there. Oh my god, we could do like some mountain lions or something. And we can build out to there. So those are our four corners. Uh, we're going to keep the Among Us in there. Thank you, Seth. That's the first blueprint that we used in here. Amazing job, Seth. But, um, no, that's pretty much it. And, yeah, we're just going to end it on our little nil guy over here. We're going to look at the big buck because he's beautiful. But yeah, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next episode of Total Modded Island. So yeah, I'm Leaf McLean, and yeah, um, that's a horrible reference right there, okay? Take care, guys. See you. Bye.